Woo! Okay, so we know our oceans are dirty. There's literally like plastic and trash swimming everywhere. And we know very well how it got there, but do we know how to get it out? So my question today is, can we clean our oceans? So can we clean the ocean? Okay, so before we get into cleaning, what is there to clean? I mean, we recycle plastic all the time, so why is it still ending up in oceans? Is it anyway? Okay, let's look at these numbers for nerds like me. So more than 8 million tons of plastic are dumped in our oceans every year. We also have a problem with plastic bags. Actually, more than 1 million bags are used every minute. And the average time of how long we use these bags is 15 minutes. Then you know, pluk, pluk, whoop, ocean. And lastly, so we don't go into too much data, one estimation is saying that around 50% of plastic is used just once and then thrown away. You know, like everything that comes together with a party, like bottles and glasses and cups and straws, like there is a big something about straws everywhere and the lids and, uh, you know, bags in general as well. And so we know that polluting and throwing all this shit in the ocean is not the best we can do. And we know that if we don't change something, you know, bad stuff are about to happen, if not to us, to our children. So it's time to change something and to not go too much into bad stuff. Let's see what we can actually do and what are the solutions that are being proposed to clean our oceans. Okay, we have the solution number one, Ta -ta -da -da, the ocean cleanup. The Ocean Cleanup is a startup company that comes from the Netherlands and a very young entrepreneur started it. I don't know his name, it's written somewhere, I'm gonna write it somewhere on the screen. Uh, but basically this guy invented a floating device that's gonna be like 600 meters long, yeah, floater. And it's basically sitting on the surface, collecting the mostly plastic because it's floating. And it's also having a skirt, like a net that goes three meters long. And so it's collecting a lot, of, uh, a lot of trash, but it's also not disturbing the marine animals. So that's a good thing. And what is also a good thing is that it doesn't require human uh, picking up the trash. It's just gonna be floating there, enjoying in the nature, being carried around by the waves. So it doesn't require any energy. So this device will be floating around in the ocean and from time to time a vessel will come, a boat, and they will take all the trash and dispose of it properly. Possibly not throw it back in the ocean. <laughs> that bad. <laughs> and they have big plans on how well they're gonna clean the ocean. And basically it's expected, the impact that is expected is that by 2040, there's gonna be 90% less plastic in the ocean compared to right now. So that's like huge. So everything sounds amazing, but they did have a bit of a problem recently. In 2018, they didn't collect tons of plastic. And so this became like a big boom because everybody believed that, uh, you know, we're gonna have this cleanup uh, of the oceans and so we can just throw all the plastic in and somebody else is gonna be picking it up, um, which didn't happen. So uh, something happened to their system, basically the very end of their, um, this big machine uh, tore and so it broke and it didn't collect the plastic according to the plan. And so this became like a big problem in the media, like they're failing, nobody's uh, believing in it anymore. So the company replied that uh, since this is a very new technology, we shouldn't be, like they're just testing it out. They don't know what kind of, what kind of problems they can expect because it's not like they are just inventing a little bit better car or a little bit better microwave. They're inventing something completely new. So the failure is a way to success. I really like this solution and if you like it too, you know, feel free to find the links in the description box and give them some money and <laughs> let's clean the oceans uh, by uh, using this method or the next solution that we have. So solution number two, ta -ta -da -da, sea bin. A sea bin, yes, it's exactly how you imagine it. It's a little bin that you put in the water and is sucking the trash out of the water. It was invented by two surfers from Australia and basically why they did it, at least that's my opinion, is because there was more chance that they're gonna die by getting wrapped in one of the fishing nets than it was to being eaten by a shark. And for a surfer, that's a real tragedy. <laughs> 
Okay, back to the sea bean. So, how it looks like? It's basically a bean, it's a, you know, like a dish you put in, a, in the sea or in the ocean or near the coast, wherever you want, basically. And uh, it's sucking in itself the plastic and other trash that are floating on the surface of the ocean. And it can also be used to filter water. So it's, it can be used to filter water and separate it from oil and detergent and all the other crap we put in the water. So it filters it and then it returns the water back in the ocean even cleaner than it used to be. I mean, of course, cleaner because before it was mixed with oil. Uh, whatever, oil and water don't mix. I don't know where I'm going with it. <laughs> Okay, the next question that you might be asking, and I asked myself because I care about the animals a lot, you know me, uh, is, is sea life safe in this kind of environment? Like there is literally uh, a bin sucking everything that is on the surface inside it. So yes, it's safe. They've been testing it for four years and in four years, they never found any fish or anything else that used to be alive uh, inside the bin. So looks like it's okay. The good part about this solution is that it doesn't require a lot of money compared to other methods that we have, you know, like uh, going around, uh, walking around on the beach and picking up the trash or paying somebody who's going to take uh, a vessel, a boat or something and go, uh, go on the open sea and look for trash. So that's cheaper. And talking about people who are sailing around looking for trash, we have the solution number three. Ta -ta -da -da! For Ocean. For Ocean is a global movement actively removing trash from the ocean. What they do basically is they use small boats and sail around from Florida to Bali, picking up trash wherever they can find it, on the coastline and the open sea. Their motto is cleaning the oceans and coastlines one pound at a time. And if you're like me, you're probably wondering uh, how much is a pound? <laughs> well, it is almost one half a kilogram. And why they have this motto is because they are selling uh, bracelets, which you can buy and therefore support their movement, their uh, cleanup initiative. Uh, and these bracelets are made from recycled materials they picked up from the ocean, like recycled glass and recycled plastic. And for every bracelet you buy, one pound of trash is removed from the ocean. So half a kilo. So this solution is a bit old school, but it's a very good solution while we wait for the high-tech solutions to be ready. And talking about high-tech, our last solution, the fourth solution is high-tech. Da -da -da -da. Okay, so it's based in the UK and it's a startup. And this idea is to transform plastic to oil. So basically you take something that you throw away and you transform it into energy. How cool is that? Okay, and let me mention, it's not just an idea like I just said, it's already working. So it's already in progress. It's happening. We are turning plastic into oil. Okay, so how it works is that there is like this huge machine, which is big as a tennis court. And basically what you do is you throw in plastic, like plastic bags or a toothbrush, or you can even throw electronics. And on the other side, you get energy producing oil. This oil can then be used to warm up our houses or make our computers and cameras work, you know, to charge them, basically electricity and whatever. We can use it to wax our shoes or even to make cosmetics because yeah, they put some really shitty oil in the cosmetics. So eco-friendly. Why I really like this idea is because basically you're taking something that you're gonna throw away anyway and you turn it into something that you really, really need, like electricity, you know, like you don't need any renewable sources. You just need tons of plastic, which apparently we have like, like a whole island of it in the middle of some ocean somewhere. I should know that, but I don't. Okay, these were all the solutions that we have so far. Or maybe there are more, but these are the four that I chose personally, especially for you, because there is 1,000 of you. Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel and don't forget to like it and share it so more people can subscribe. And these are all the solutions for today. But remember, just because we can clean the ocean doesn't mean we should clean it. So no polluting, you know? And that's it for today. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.